together And everything between us is good I'm right in this cloud, baby Ready to fly, but before I take another step Would you catch me? Corner Squad, this is your girl Shaquan coming to you loud, live, and in color. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. Hey, my people. This is a story time, and yes, I'm still in my bed. I told you I'm going to do some videos in my bed, y'all. Y'all didn't believe me, but here we go. This is a story time. This is about when I was in the seventh grade, and my friend, I'm not going to say her name, but if she ever watched this video... You know, but anyway, um, me and my friend, we're both in wheelchairs, okay? We're both, we, we, we both went to the same little school, and, um, we never had to have police at the school to guard us, to watch us, anything. Whether it's me or her or any other person that's in the wheelchair or just in, we never had to have the cops at the school. But one particular day, um, like I said, I was in the seventh grade, she was in the eighth grade. And so, um, one particular day, um, I was in class, she was in class, you know, and you know, like every other day. I, you know, we get on the bus, we talk, we laugh, because we never had the same classes. Like I said, 7th grade, 8th grade, her. So, one particular day, I got on the bus, and she wasn't on the bus. So, I'm like, why, why ain't we waiting for her to be on the bus? So, I asked the bus driver. My, my, I love this bus driver. May he rest in peace. Mr. Lawson. I love that bus driver. That man was so freaking funny to me. But, um, I said, Mr. Lawson, where is so-and-so? Said she was... Her mom came and got her today. And I'm like, okay, so what happened? He, he never told me what happened. So when I got to school the next day, um... Some people that knew her, I mean, like, for real, like, was friends with her, they told me that she was in class, she had to go to the bathroom like all of us do, and she went to the bathroom. She used the bathroom, and some guys came into the bathroom and tried to rape her, and... People had noticed that she had been gone for a while. So, there were football players in her classroom. They came looking for her, and they walked past the bathroom. And they heard her in the bathroom screaming. And by the time they got in the bathroom, they saw these boys. They saw five boys in the bathroom. Two was holding her arms above her head. The other two had her legs spread. They had already had her her her, her pants down along with her underwear. And they was going to get ready to rape her. And when I heard that, I'm like, what? It is absolutely not induced. Why would you try to do something like that to her? I'm like, this makes no sense to me. This could have been me, y'all. Like, it always go back to my date. I mean, it goes back to my dating video. This is why. This is why we, we are, we are so investigators when it comes to our dating lights. Cause it's it's scary out here, y'all. But anyway, um, the guys came in the bathroom, a girl came with them, 
And so one of the guys, one of the football players, helped her up. You know, help her stand. While the girl helped pull her, uh, her underwear and the pants up. And the football players beat the hell out of these boys. And once they got the girl, once my, once they got my friend in her chair, took her to the principal's office to tell what happened. And the ambulance and the police were called. I never heard anything. I never knew anything. Didn't nobody want to tell me what happened to her. But this one particular friend of hers did tell me because they knew how close we were. And they knew that I would get worried else didn't nobody tell me anything. So they told me what happened at the office. I called her to see how she was doing. At that time, she did not want to talk. So I just I just told her, I said, well, just, just call me. Just, just call me whenever you want to talk. And we can talk. We, you know, we, you know, we'll talk whenever you feel like it. And to this day, I still don't know who the guys are that tried to rape her. But from that moment on, we had to have somebody with us. And I already had somebody that had to escort me wherever I, I was. I, I, I had somebody had to take me wherever I had to go, follow me wherever I had to go because of the incident that I had when somebody pulled my wheelchair from underneath me. And I did that story time, I think. But if I had not done that story time, I'm going to do it again. If I if I already done it, it's just going to be done again. But I'm going to talk about what happened to me just in case if I didn't do that story time. But we had to have another classmate come with us to the bathroom if we had to go to the bathroom. From that moment on, and I already had somebody. Well, that incident happened to her. No, my, my incident. No, I don't know which incident happened first, me or her, but yeah, so, um, but that happened to her, and I was like, wow. That could have been me. That could have really been me. And I'm still affected by it. Because I don't understand. It's like, why would you, why would you do that? And it had to be some guys that knew her, knew me. And something that I've never, ever told anybody was, that was told to me was, that if they couldn't get her, they was going to get me. Whichever one they saw that day, that's the one that they was going to get, me or her. Like, this was planned. They might have got both of us that day. So, yeah. That's what happened when I was in seventh grade to a friend of mine. And we were just like this. We, we still cool today, but we don't talk like we used to. But it still affects me to this day because that is my biggest fear is being raped. 
So yeah, I was like, no, this cannot be happening. And the, and, and the only reason why I knew it was true because the girl had told me was cool, like really, really cool with me and her. So I, I, I knew she wasn't playing. I knew it wasn't a joke. I knew it wasn't a lie. And it hurt me so bad that it happened to her. And when I finally was able to talk to her, I was like, ooh, we. And we don't talk about it anymore. No because it's something, because it's something that's. It was just something that just. It was just something that just, just no. But I'm gonna end this here, y'all. Um, if you made it to the end of my video, put in the comments section safety in the comment section. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. If you know somebody that has ever been raped or threatened with rape, hold them tight, y'all. Hold them tight. Because we're all rape victims when it comes to being raped or threatened with the act of rape. It's still rape. Okay, it's, it's still rape. So, yeah, hold that person tight. Love on them. Tell them it's gonna be okay. Everything is get everything gets better. Only talk to them about it if they wanna talk about it. But don't push the issue. But um, if you made it to the end of my video, like I said, put safety. And like I said, at the end of all my videos, have fun playing with your nails. If you wear nails or if you're growing your own, have fun playing with your makeup. If you wear makeup or you're just learning to use it and y'all Please live life, because God only gives you one. Mwah.